Hello. I hope you are doing well. Today we want to learn how to use the debug feature in STM32. At first, using SWO for print debug messages. We have to enable that pin. SWO is working very fast and only needs one pin. I just wanted to let you know that nothing needs to change here. Select the project's name and compiler, then click on the Generate button. We want to use the standard printf function, then should include the STDIO library. This function assigns how to print your character. In this case, we use SWO output. On the other compilers, it may be different. Now, I want to use printf to print the current startup time. After pressing the debug button for the first time, this window will appear to do the configuration for debug. Set enable debug and use limit SWO speed as 2000 kHz and leave other configuration as default. Now, we should select the SWVITM data console to enable the output window for printing messages into the compiler. And press the configuration button and select port 0. Oops. I should put some delay between printing the message. Let's check again. It works well now.
Now, I want to change the debug interface and use UART. The UART was enabled by CubeMX and connected to the ST-Link programmer. I can only replace the UART transmitter with the ITM transmitter. In my board, that is connected to HLPUART. If it was a normal UART, that structure should be called HUART. I will explain more in the UART section. Now, test again. Open your serial monitor and watch the result. This warning will be disappear by changing the data type. Now, we want to watch a variable in the program in debug mode. I define a public variable with an initial value of 0 and increase it in the main loop. Copy the name and paste it into live view. Press the run over button to run the line by line. You can see the variable increase after execution. Press the run button to run non-stop the program and watch the live variable. I hope it was useful. Please subscribe to my channel and support me on social networks. Thanks a lot.